All right, so as promised, I am going to try these most stuffed Oreos. The most stuffed Oreos. Um, and on initial unboxing, um, they are good. They look great. So I'm looking about this thick. Um, this is pretty good. Um, this one is pretty much straight all the way across. So let's take a look at this one. So this one is like the ideal. Um, but it looks like you can see kind of the line where it was like mashed together. It looks like it is two um, mega stuffed Oreos put together. So um, yeah, these are pretty, pretty filled. It's like everything you could want in an Oreo. Um, it's a lot of frosting. Um, so, but. There's only like 18 in a box. So, um, the thicker they get, the less you get. But this is great. This is like everything I want out of an Oreo. That's it. Most stuff Oreo. Keeping me company while I work. All of them, actually. Oh, so. Oh, so. He's just walking around on the keys. He have an Arista cat. What are you doing? Are you playing the piano? <laughs> Buddy, get off the piano. Come on. All the way. I know. Come on. Good, oh, so. Alright, I'm going to try these carrot cake Oreos, but I wanted to do a side-by-side. -side. Regular sized Oreo. Most stuffed Oreo. So first off, the height isn't really the issue. It's about the same height as a double stuffed Oreo. But look at how much space is on the cookie versus how much space is on this cookie. That's where they fill in that filling to not make it be ridiculous. But I wanted to show you guys the side by side. And then I'm gonna try this carrot cake one. So, tried carrot cake Oreo. Um, it says carrot cake flavored with cream cheese, frosting flavored cream. Uh, and the cookie more had a gingerbread flavor to it. That's about it. Um, I know ginger and carrot kind of are like the same thing but um, well flavor wise. And then um, definitely cream cheese flavored filling uh, was really strong. So those are really rich, um, but they were pretty good. I still like my original Oreos better though, especially when they're most stuffed. That's my review, the end. Ooh. Gadget, are you watching The Bachelor? Are you real comfy on this chair? Oof. Look at this, Bobby. Hey. Yeah, Look at the camera. Are you watching The Bachelor? Are you real comfy? She's like, I won't look at the camera. I won't look at the camera. All right, so rose ceremony time. It's Monday. And there has been some great stuff going on. You haven't even on. said you're watching The Bachelor yet. So it's rose ceremony time, yeah. and it's Monday, so we all know what we're talking about. Hey. Gadget's been hanging out. 
Yeah, I said Janine. She's sleepy. Uh -uh. All right, so we're going to pick four today uh, to say, because the numbers are starting to dwi dwindle. Go ahead. Okay. Picking Cassie. Okay. Kerpa. Okay. Heather. Okay. And Crazy Hannah. I don't know crazy if it's G Hannah. or... That's B. Hannah B, B is Hannah the B crazy is one. Crazy. Yeah. Hannah G is the content creator. Yeah. Well, we are going to uh, match up on two of them. Kerpa and Heather are in. Because Kerpa's like under the radar. Like no one's going to know who she is until she's like top five. Mm -hmm. Then I think Anyeka... And she's the one that won the She's the one that won the, the strongest Yeah, the strongest win. woman competition. And then Taisha, she's the other like super athletic black girl. I think that they're they're in for sure. Because he seems to be drawn to the athletes. That's true. I would have probably picked the uh the dancer girl, but I don't remember what her name is. Hashtag Katie. bachelor Cindy. problems. Oh, yeah. Katie's something, too, though. Katie's the other... Yeah. She's... They're both dancers. Uh, maybe, yeah, I think so. One's a dancer fitness instructor. Yeah. So, we got four. We match on two. We're probably right on all of them, let's be real. Um, although, you took, a risky minu you took a risky one. And let's uh, see what happens. Time for bed. Super late. She has to get up early to fly. I threw up all over my body. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Guys. I mean, I wasn't gonna say it, but it's true. Yeah. I can. My body's not made to take all the pills. I just. Okay, so here's the background <laughs> on pills for me. At a very young age, my mom discovered. I was swallowing my chewable pills, which obviously is ineffective. But if you can swallow pills, that makes things significantly cheaper for a parent. So that's a pretty cool find. So I've been taking swallowable pills since I was like five. Like, never got the bubblegum. I shouldn't say never. I stopped getting bubblegum medicine. I got capsules. And then I don't know what kind of sickness I had. They gave me these giant white pills. And when you're a kid, a big pill is like traumatizing. It was the most disgusting, chalky. I can't even, I like I get shivers thinking about it. But I've had a thing with white pills ever since. And, and grape soda, because I tried to take these disgusting pills with grape soda, jolly good grape soda specifically, in case you were wondering. And I've never, like football shaped white pills. Here's a funny thing. My Zyrtec I take every day is a white pill. One of my pills I have to take for whatever, oh, it's diagnosed now, I have bronchitis, is a football shaped white pills. I don't know which one is the one that made me vomit, but it's the most vomit I think I've ever had ever. I don't know, hopefully that's not grossing you out. It was everywhere. I thought <laughs> that might gross people out. So we spent a solid, like, 20 minutes, 30 minutes cleaning that up. And now I'm really thirsty. And now I'm really tired. So we're going to go to bed. Bye. Bye. Badass! Thanks for coming to the show! And for what? And for what? And for what?